Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering how to make a vision board, or better yet, Yvette, how do you make a vision board? You landed on the right video. Today I'm gonna to show you or give you a simple explanation on how to create a vision board. Now listen, this is very simple, be creative, but I am going to give you the basics of how to create your own vision board and why it's so important in my life and how I feel like it can help you. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a manifesting law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives you life-changing information that you can easily understand, put it into action, and get results. So don't forget to support this channel by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, if you want to know how to make a basic vision board to actually manifest anything you want in your life, keep watching. I'm back, everyone. So now you're probably saying, Yvette, is that your vision board? Yes, it is. It's been with me for years. As I manifest things in my life, I take things off and put new things on. So now, this is a vision board that I created and it's been here in my house and I have another one behind me. I keep these on my wall or I keep them on a stand. Now, listen, you can be creative about whatever it is you're making or doing with your vision board. You don't have to do it like this. But I do want to tell you, whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your life, it starts from within. It starts from what you're seeing about yourself. It starts from what you are thinking about all the time. So the whole purpose behind putting up vision boards is to constantly see and remind yourself of what it is you're trying to manifest in your life. So when you walk into your bedroom and you see a vision board and it contains pictures of everything that you want in life, you are saying to your subconscious mind, I want more of this. When you go into your living room or your bathroom and you have pictures up, you are saying, this is who I am. This is what I want. So the reason I do vision boards is to actually keep myself in alignment and also keep refocusing on what it is that I want and impregnating into my subconscious mind what it is I want in my life. Now, this work, and I'm trying to tell you right now, you should have some type of vision board in your house, even if it don't look like this. So now let me tell you what I do and very quickly and simple how I make my vision boards. Now, the first thing that I do is that I believe in color, okay? Color is very important to me. So I choose my colors very carefully. The red color here means for me is passion, is motivation, is fire. Because basically red is not only for love, it's for passion, motivation, it's the fire behind whatever it is that you're doing. So I tend to use red, but I also have green that I used before. And you can use green for abundance. You can use green for healing, for money, for cars, houses. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, pick the color that works for you. Now, if it's spirituality and you're trying to get more in tune with your higher self, I would use a purple board, okay? Now, I have so many boards here that if I need to pick one to do something with, it is available to me. You have to find what works for you. Now, the next thing that I use I use actual pictures on my vision boards. Now, why am I doing that? Again, because I love vivid colors. So what is the best way of doing this? By using pictures, okay? So whatever it is that I want in my life, I will make a picture out of it, take a picture with my cell phone, go to Walgreens or CVS and print it out in a small way, and then come back and post them on my vision board. Now, one thing I can say when I use pictures, because I am printing out the pictures, certain places allow you to print on the pictures before printing them out. So I will put, it is done, thank you God, um, whatever success, um, whatever it is, my first book, whatever it is that I want, 
I will actually write it on the picture in bold colors, bright colors. So when I look at that picture, I see the message, which is actually an affirmation. Now, the next thing that I do when creating a vision board, I like to put myself in the center because I am the center of my vision. I am the center of my life. So I will place myself in the center and then place everything else around it. The next thing I do, I always put some type of sacred geometry to attract or to build whatever it is I'm trying to create in my life. So right here, I have the Metatron's cube. On another vision board, I might have Sri Yantra or the flower of life. Another thing that I might put on my vision board is some type of religious figure. Here I have angels, angels of abundance I have on here. I also have angels up here and angels here. So I have multiple pictures of angels on this vision board. On that one, I have angels and I have baby Jesus. Now, the next thing I do is that I put some religious or some type of wording or phrase on my vision board to represent the power that's inside of me, to represent the power of the universe. Again, we could be referring to the universe, God, Allah, Jehovah. It doesn't matter or your higher self. The thing is, I know I cannot create anything in my life, but through this higher source. This higher source, I call God, you might call Jesus, whatever it is. The thing is, don't ever think it's coming directly and only from you. You have a force that's inside of you, and I like to represent that on my vision board. So on this vision board, I put I am, and I am everything I see here. Then I put, be still and know that I am God. Why? Because I know there's a God inside of me that is saying, Yvette, be still and know that I am God. And God is going to make and create whatever it is that I desire into my life, into the physical. So people take it the wrong way and they say, oh, Yvette, what is it? You think you God? Listen, I know I am connected with God. God and I are one. And I know God is inside of me. So remember, no matter what it is I attach, I am to. I am that. I will have that. It's already done. So I am and everything here is what I am. What it is that I feel I want in my life. Then the biblical term or the religious term or whatever fit phrase I want to use I chose be still and know that I am God, telling me to be quiet, to be calm, to be peaceful for whatever it is that I want is already done. So again, you're going to get a board. You can use a piece of paper. You can use a notebook and you can place pictures in it and constantly see it. The board I put up is very pretty so I can place it anywhere. So again, I have a picture of everything that I want. And as I create it, it comes off. Okay. Now that is basically it about creating a vision board. The main thing is, is to know what it is that you want. Get something that you can collect and place pictures on. It don't have to be a board. It could be a notebook or anything. You don't have to print pictures out. You can actually go on Google and print it out from your computer. It doesn't matter. I choose to use pictures because they, they're more vivid and they look more real. So basically, I just gave you a very simple explanation of how to create a vision board. Now listen, this is powerful. It works. And the more you look at your vision board, the more you see it, the more you say into your subconscious mind, this is who I am. This is what I pay attention to. This is what I want in my life. And before you know it, it has manifested in your life. You'll be taking it off like I did and placing something else in its place. Okay, everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and I just explained to you step-by-step step how I make my vision boards and why. So listen, if you wanna make change in your life, 
This is one powerful way to do it. The more real it looks, the more colors that you see, the more powerful the vision board is going to be. So again, if you want more videos like this, don't forget to watch the next video. That means more to me than anything. Other than that, support this channel by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. So again, this is Yvette. If you want to know anything about my world of metaphysics, please look in the description. Again, namaste.